In this video, I'm going to talk about the Explore function on SPSS. This will give you a lot of descriptive statistics if you tell it to, divide it by a group, and also give you box plots, stem plots, and histograms. So in this uh, data set, what I have is salary after employees have been on the job for five years, and then I have high. This one is people that were either labeled as high potential or as low potential when they first started the job. So analyze, descriptive, explore. That'll take you to a window where you can move variables. I've already done this, so let me show you what it would look like when you first come to the window. The variables will be over here, the, at least the first time you do this. And we're going to take salary and make that the dependent variable. That's the quantitative variable for which we would like to compute means. And then the factor will be whether or not someone was labeled as high potential. Under plots, I'm going to make sure the default isn't to select histogram. It would just give you a stem and leaf display. Also, I've gone ahead and put normality plots here. And that will that will let you examine whether or not the data are from a normal distribution, where that's a normal distribution is just a, a bell curve. And continue, and then OK. Now it's going to the output window. And here we go. At the top, the first thing you'll get is sample sizes. And in this case, they'll tell you if there are any missing data in the uh, data set. And then the next thing you'll see is descriptive statistics. Yes or no. Uh, the mean, the standard deviation is here and, and variance. Minimum and maximum. There's your interquartile range. The test of normality. We'll look at the Shapiro Wilk test. And basically what you need to look at is this significance level right here. I know we haven't gotten to that yet, but if this is greater than 0.1, we will say it could have come from a normal distribution. Low numbers here, anything less than 0.1 would indicate that the data are not normally distributed. It's saying it's not normally distributed because we have these outliers and extreme values here in this particular case. Same thing here. Stem and leaf plots will be the next thing that comes on there, sort of like a sideways histogram. One advantage is that it retains the number. So in this data set, we had a 59, a 63, a 64, 67, 67, 68, and so forth. And here are some graphs that also allow you to get a visual as to whether or not you have a normal distribution. If it's a normal distribution, all of the points should be pretty close to the line. And here, those two points that were outliers are what make it a non-normal distribution. Same thing here. We'll just skip those. And the last thing you'll have on here is box plots. So you've got the minimum value, first quartile, median, third quartile, the star or asterisk uh, means that you have an extreme value. Circles mean that you have outliers. These numbers that are right there, like by the asterisk, you have a 29. That means it's the 29th value in the data set. And so the outlier is the 25th value. And then the edge of the, the where the bar ends here is the, um, sometimes they call it adjacent value. It's just the last value in the data set that's neither an outlier nor an extreme value. You could see in general that those that were identified as high potential are a little bit higher than those who are low potential, but both of them have outliers and extreme values. What I want to show you here is how to modify your graphs in terms of appearance and so on. One way is to double click. Another way is just to right click and say edit content. content. And we're going to do that in a separate window. So this brings up the editing window, and you can just double click in here. What I'm going to do when I double clicked in here is change the uh, fill to nothing, so I won't have the gray there. 
among other things, but I think it looks better and it saves some ink. Then I can double click, click in the box plots. I'd like those to just be white. You can pick your own colors there. Also, if you want to, you can go over here under Options and do Transpose. That'll make the graphs sideways. 